Uh, Friday evening, we got a report that uh, uh, a couple people that were out recreating in the Five Mile Pass area had come across a, a dead body. Uh, when we arrived, we did uh, find uh, that we had a, 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 a dead body, a, that of a female. Um, uh, what we weren't able to link immediately was uh, on another uh, phone call we'd gotten from Salt Lake City Police Department. Uh, was they were looking for a uh, Brooklyn Tyree that had uh, uh, been uh, uh, missing for uh, a few days. And what we couldn't do at the time of uh, the, uh, uh, the report of uh, our dead body and the uh, uh, following day even, uh, there was no ID on the dead body uh, or anything. We just knew we had a, a well, a, to be a young female so we uh, uh so we weren't able to confirm that it was the the missing person out of salt lake city uh at, the, at that juncture however uh we processed the scene uh, early saturday morning in the daylight and uh, uh got some good evidence uh from the scene and uh as we followed up on uh, uh the information provided by salt lake city uh, uh we actually ended up uh meeting with uh, some Salt Lake City officers and our investigators were able to get a video that they had obtained of Brooklyn Tyree leaving in uh, Brandon Zipperly's car. And I believe, uh, you know, earlier in the week. And so they got uh, surveillance footage from her apartment complex of that. At that time, we noticed in the video, the clothes that uh, Brooklyn was wearing match the clothes on our victim. And it became very apparent that uh, our, our victim at the Five Mile Pass area was indeed uh, Brooklyn. Uh, so then since Brandon was the last one to have seen her uh, or the last one we were aware of that had contact with her, uh, we uh, then started to look for Brandon. And uh, we uh, got information that he was going to be uh, checking in with his uh, parole officer at the Provo APMP office, and we were able to catch up with him this morning. Uh, at the same time, we had written search warrants for both his apartment and his vehicle to see if we could obtain some evidence uh, pertaining to uh, uh, Brooklyn's death. And uh, uh, we got... Uh, uh, we got him out here, but during the search warrant at the, his apartment, we found a shoe and the shoe had a similar tread pattern to uh, a footprint we had seen at the crime scene. Uh, it was found that shoe belonged to his fiance, uh, Elizabeth Ludwig. And we also uh, contacted uh, Ms. Ludwig, brought her out to the sheriff's office for an interview. Uh, in the interviews that followed, uh, Brandon admitted to uh, shooting Brooklyn and killing her. Uh, in uh, the interviews with Elizabeth, uh, she admitted to assisting Brandon in moving the body into some bushes. It was, it was sagebrush. And then also helping, uh, well, and getting rid of some personal property that belonged to uh, Brooklyn. So uh, uh, both of them were booked in, into our jail today, uh, 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 Brandon for murder and obstruction of justice, and then uh, uh, Elizabeth for obstruction of justice.